We're doing two on one? Okay. If this sucks, I'll cut it. There you go, bud. That's oh, that's perfect. Good night. I'm zoomed in and still can't even see that one. Jeez. Oh, going roller? Okay, getting creative. That's really good. Right, show me these discs, Andrew. I need to confirm <laughs> that they are, in fact, like it's not even a headwind. Raider and Enforcer, Enforcer. and they flew like renegades. Raider. <laughs> no way. This is pretty beat up, though. Yeah, this is not that beat up, though. So how do you, how do you roll it? I well, I started rolling a Thunderbird. So that was like one of the first shots I learned. So, just like, throw it hard, I guess. Hard and force it over hard. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I like to set it down myself, not. Yeah, rather than flip it. Yeah. Where do you aim when you roll? Do you aim it like the ground, or do you try and aim like where the disc um, ends up? I'm not very good at sky rollers, so probably just like maybe 10 feet in the air, 20 feet in the air. Okay. And then so you're get down pretty in the quick. Air and yeah. then trust it's gonna hit. Yeah. Exactly. Awesome. Thank you. How's the, uh, how's the weather up there, boys? Huh? How's the weather up there, huh? Kind of hot. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. It's probably, because heat rises, it's probably, like, slightly warmer. Yeah. Yeah? Do discs fly different at your, like, altitude? I mean, it's easier, like, to, like, uphill putts are really nice, like, that. Oh, yeah? Uh, one hole, is it? Elevated baskets. Yeah, elevated right? baskets mm -hmm. are, like, finally, there's a basket my height, you know? I would for sure go for the long from here. You can kind of, but go safe for it. Like just like go. Straight don't try at to that, flex anything. Just but. go straight at that like bushy tree back there and fade. Enforcer. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Uh, Do you have stable getaways? But I want to poke it like over the road. So. Oh, you went over the road. Yeah, you. Poke That's it. the smart play. Enforcer. Yep. Oh, that is so perfect. Yeah, that's oh, we're oh, playing to the deep yeah, basket. Yeah, I didn't yeah, even I see that deep basket. basket. Oh, oh yeah. is that OB short? It probably. Oh. Yeah, that was like Danny shot, but better. Is that him? Okay. Enough from the peanut gallery. What'd you throw for that shot? I threw a Lucid Defender. Lucid Defender, alright. Yep. So you've had an injury the past year, right? Yeah. You're just coming off it? Yep. You mind me asking like what kind of injury it was? Uh, yeah, I think I was just overworking my back, and then my lower back started to hurt a lot. And then I went into physical therapy for like a good three to four months, and then now I'm back at it. Nice. Do you have to like take it easy now? No, I'm no. I'm, yeah, physical therapy. Again? Yep, 100%. Nice, that's impressive. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. Does it So is your brother better than you now? I'm never going to say that. No. Never gonna say no. It. That's the never. right answer for yep. sure. Oh, that tree's only 300. Yeah, you, you should reach it. Or should I just do a fun roller? You're terrible at rollers, so. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> just brutally honest. That's clean. Good yeah. putt. Swing. Wow, they kind of nailed it. Oh, barely safe. What is that, Carter? Yeah, enforcer. Enforcer. That's a smash. Great shot. Oh, what? You got no skip. Brutal. All right, this is going to look sick if you make it. First try. First try. On a string. Hold it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, let's go. 
Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, that's alright. Good job, man. Oh, okay. Oh no, the branch. No. Sit down. No, it's too short. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Swing. Oh, barely safe. That's I a putt that too. Anymore inside either. That was a great yeah. shot. Yeah. Whose disc is it? Yeah, Tyler. Tyler. Not planning on it. Can we, we see it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Wait. Oh, oh, so we need cool. Vinny's marble slingshot in it. Dude, dude, yeah, slingshots would be clutch. Oh, oh yeah, Justin, oh, no, Justin Bass oh, from Alex Yeah. We didn't play that, but so I drafted Sarasino oh, on my I'll match take it, though. I thought I drilled it. I think people do go that way. Oh, that's nice. I almost, I almost oh, what, out around the right side? Yeah. Yeah. Because that tree down there is in. Is that hard to do? Oh, it's kind of, yeah. I like it though. Like, You've no, got to kind of get something that flips up as you go. You can't just throw pure highs in there. You know what? I'm oh, just going to do I like really a safe do. little forehand, you know. Pretty good. All right, cool. Uh, okay. I'd say that's good. <laughs> that's just a laser beam the whole way. This is the Raider that you rolled that just flew dead straight. <laughs> Fair enough. Dunk it. Oh. Okay, that's smashed. Stick. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Carter, how long have you been playing disc golf? Um, seven years. Seven years. Okay, over the last two years, your rating went up 100 points. I how, think how so. do you do that? I'm just asking for a friend. Well, two years ago, I was throwing like 350, and now I'm probably throwing like 500. So, just get good, I guess? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I had a chance. <laughs> oh, loose. Okay. This guy's played in the woods before. That is literally the perfect spot. What can I say? So my home course is Blue Rim Pines, believe it or not. So my game is very woods oriented. So lots of hyzer flips and stuff? Yeah, lots of mavericks and fuses and stuff like that. Do you have a hard time adjusting to the wind then? Uh, kind of. We do get a fair amount of wind, but I just, I don't have the biggest arm, so it's a lot of placement called for me. Forehand. Forehand fades too hard to the right, I think, isn't it? Maybe. I'll try to get out the field, though. Go for it. Alright, I look really dumb right now. What is a yacht? I thought it was like a large well, that's a yeah. bovine. Okay, what's the difference? Uh, one of the commentators during World said it. Said and now, yak? Yeah. I think it was Yuli. He just started saying yak, which means All like right. smash. So. It's rather strange. Why, Cyrus? Is it English? Is, is it like smash. a different language? Like big smash. Okay. Harder than a smash. Harder than a smash. Like Calvin. How do you get harder than this? I don't understand. That looks real good. Who said it? Uh, it was you, by the way. You leave. Yeah. Oh. Is that a yak? That is a yak. A yak. Is it there? Okay, yeah. That's that's there. All right. A yoink? A yoink. Or a yank. Yoink. Y o i n k. A yoink. All right. I never thought I'd be this out of touch with the youths. Cleminator. The Cleminator. That fell over 
overstable. Oh my goodness, it didn't care. Dude, that's so overstable. I put that on Anheuser. That was turned out of your hand and just didn't care. How does it wow. feel to be disrespected by Chris Clemens like that? What disc are you throwing? Clemonator. The Clemonator after slapping you in the face on the previous hole. I mean, I trust it. It has one more chance. Alright, redemption. It's redemption. safe. Alright, alright, yeah. It's redeemed. It's a good story arc for that disc. Yeah. Right. It's been a long round. How many discs are we down? One. One for you, me. You lost one, you lost one. I didn't lose lost any. One, but I, I lost, lost one. another one in the uh, tree. I'm missing one, yeah. Okay. Well, that was going to be a positive note, like we didn't lose that many, but it sounds like we actually did lose that many. Seth Davis here, PDGA number 114831 on Team Westside. I'm Cyrus Watrin, PDGA number 119855, part of Team Dynamic Discs, and I'm here to show you what we got in our Junior Worlds Players Pack. So to start, we got this Emporia Visitor's Guide. We have some stickers and other brochures and stuff. We got a Westside Discs hat, represent. The discs we got included a Prime Emac Judge that we got to stamp ourselves at the new distribution center. An Eco Warship, a Discmania Majesty. And Opto Sapphire with a cool Junior World stamp that the bear's hugging. And a super sweet Lucid Air Evader with a spaceship. And then we got this Zuka accessory bag. Um, it's pretty nice and big. A disc fits perfectly down there. So maybe a caddy bag or just really anything you want to put in there. A white dynamic disc polo, which is super cool. And then we got this super sick Latitude 264 diamond shirt with an eagle on it. And the bug token item was the paratrooper with our state flag on it. And that's everything you get in the Junior Worlds player pack. All right, gotta put the Crocs okay, in support mode, baby. Don't grip oh, no. them. <laughs> Four wheel drive. <laughs> don't, don't grip lock them, though. They'll probably use yours. Ideal, shot, ideal shoes for disc right? The croc power. Oh, that's actually pretty stable, isn't it? Yeah, that one. I went pretty straight. Oh, that's a pretty one. Ooh, pretty straight though. Pretty straight. Kind of buttery. And I'm here with Andrew Miranda. Shot a hot second round. How you feeling? Pretty good. Made my putts, which I was pretty happy about. They weren't looking too good in the first round, but I got some practice in after the round, tightened it up, so feeling pretty good. What else, you got anything else for me? I mean, we're just kind of standing in front of the camera right now. It's not it's not live or anything. Uh, no. <laughs> no? Carter, you found yourself on the lead card after round one going into round two. Was that expected? Was that part of the plan? Um, I really wanted to get a lead card, but I knew I had to play good to get there. And what did what does that mean? Play good. What does that what did, what did that mean to you this morning when you woke up? Um, I just had to make some make my putts, then get in the fairway with my drives. Katie Bell, you're in the lead after two days here at Junior Worlds. How does it feel? Great. Uh, did you feel any pressure being so close to the top? Um, yes. Um, Hurricane Hayden and... James? Yes, James. Okay. Yeah, he, so had a he, put, a, he put a couple pressure on me. Yeah? Um, I noticed you don't really play like you're, you're, you have a lot of pressure on. You seem pretty lighthearted and, and happy while you're playing. Is that, do you do that on purpose or is that just how you play? It's just how I play. Awesome, thank you for your time, Caden. Good luck. Hello, my name is AJ Risley. I'm joined by Aria and Haley Castruita. Aria, how did your third round go today at Peter Pan? It went really well. I was throwing consistent and making my putts, so I didn't get no bogeys. I was bogey free. Oh, good. And Haley, you also had the hot round for round three in your division. How did that go? 
And I'm really proud of myself for how I did. My putting was better and yeah. Good, improvements, right? Yeah. I'm joined here by Melody Castruita and round three, day two of the Junior World Championships is over. Melody, how are you feeling? How are you feeling right now after day two? Pretty good. Um, I think I want to go out and practice a few more drives. My drives were a little off today mm. and I missed a few putts I should have made. I mean, I just interviewed two of your sisters. They're both playing pretty well. Does their play pre put any pressure on you when you're practicing or when you're playing these tournaments? Or does it just inspire you to, to play better? Yeah, they, they're two people that always inspire me to play better. And But during tournaments, then you don't ever think. It's yeah. usually just me and my game. I don't let them get in my head. Yeah. Day two of the Junior World Championships, done. We out. Day three, my buddy Cyrus had been playing well above his expectations in the MJ18 division, so I wanted to catch up with him for his round. Cyrus watching after four rounds and coming into this tournament with hardly any expectations, you're now still top 10. How does it feel? Feels good, definitely feels good. Looking at the surrounding players around me, I'm definitely the by far the lowest rated, so it feels good to be playing upwards of 50 points above my rating per round. Went from about zero wind yesterday and the day before to all of the wind. Rest of today, I'm gonna go check out the block party downtown, get some exclusive discs, have some fun, eat some food, and sleep. Before we get to the 2021 champions, I wanted to shout out some of our team players who played exceptionally well this year. Caden Bell took second in MJ10, and he was so close to taking down another world championship. In MJ12, Blake Pettigrew averaged 70 points above his rating and made the final nine. Virginia Polkinghorne in FJ15 really struggled in round five, but shot the hot round by two strokes in the semifinal to earn her spot in the final nine. In MJ15, Carter Aaron shredded the first two rounds, but lost a lot of momentum because of an awful nosebleed in round three. Despite that, he battled back to make the final nine against an insanely competitive field. Also in MJ15, Andrew Miranda was in contention at the top of the leaderboard all week, playing incredibly well, but just barely couldn't chase down Luke. Big thank you to everyone who came to town for Junior Worlds. It was great to meet so many of you from all over the country. Thanks to everyone for making this Junior World Championships unforgettable. Now I present your 2021 Junior World Champions from Team Dynamic Discs. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to our newest world champion, the 2021 PDGA Junior Disc Golf World Champion in the FJ12 division, Ava Meyer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to announce the MJ12 World Champion here at the 2021 PDGA Junior Disc Golf World Championships, Wyatt Mahoney, congratulations. <laughs> Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to the 2021 World Champion in the FJ18 division at the 2021 PDGA Junior Disc Golf World Championships, Melody Costa Rica. <laughs> 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 <laughs>